What's up, Tiger fans? It's Morgan here, back again with another five-minute video about your Clemson Tigers. It's Thanksgiving Day. I hope you enjoyed your Thanksgiving. All the fans and supporters out there and viewers of the show, listeners to the radio, I really appreciate you. And if you're a Clemson fan and you're watching this video, you know you got a little bit of an extra treat today on top of your Thanksgiving meal, and that comes by way of another commitment to the Clemson Tigers. 2023 wide receiver Tyler Brown from Greenville High School in South Carolina has committed to the Tigers right after lunch today at about 2 p.m. Let me pull up the let me pull up the picture for you from Twitter so you can check it out. Check out this picture. It's pretty cool. It says committed across the top. Got his little whisper symbol. We got the nice Clemson gloves. Man, I love those gloves. Hey, uh, Clemson Athletics, uh, you know, just send me some. I'll show them off. Um, I will wear gloves during the show, I promise. Uh, two national championship trophies, Howard's Rock, and some awesome pictures and tigers and the jungle and then the balloons. It's got all the things going on there. I'm really, really loving it. Uh, for the Tigers and loving this graphic for sure. It looks really cool. Look forward to seeing what Tyler Brown can bring to the table for the Tigers when he comes on campus for 2023. It'll be a freshman next season. Um, let's take a look at some of his stats and information and then some of his video and see what you think. I love when you guys tell me what you think in the comments because, uh, you know, it's always something I don't see that you see or vice versa. So it's pretty cool. Um, but let's pull up some video on him. All right, Tyler Brown, 5'11", 170 pounds, according to 24-7 Sports um, website. And again, from Greenville High School, class of 2023, three-star overall, um, 15th best player in South Carolina, and um, had 22 total offers, was originally committed to Minnesota, and then I believe when Clemson kind of got more interested in and stronger in the game, and there, there seemed to be a position opening up. Uh, you saw him decommit and then uh, start to visit Clemson and then obviously get an offer. And then, you know, uh, it, basically that was history, as they say. You see the highlights here of, man, him just using his speed. One thing that I will say about the highlights is I'm a West Side high school grad and so I don't necessarily love seeing him torch my alma mater like that uh, but you know I understand it the Red Raiders won against the West Side Rams 63-33 this uh, season and he had according to Max Preps um, he had four receptions 98 yards and three touchdowns on that game wow amazing amazing last couple of games for Tyler Brown they played Catawba Ridge and it was six catches 42 yards um, before that he ain't played against South Point where he had six catches 111 yards and one touchdown and then before that against Aiken three catches 88 yards one touchdown again according to Max Preps the video that I like about him is that, you know, he's not the number one guy. I mean, you got uh, MJ Bennett there. He's not the number one guy on his team, but man, he is so lethal. He's a threat anytime he is on the field, and you must pay attention to him when you're the defense. He has really good release off the line of scrimmage. He doesn't waste a lot of his, uh, you know, movement and steps. He has a really nice burst into his routes. And then once he catches the ball, he has some really good one step and then bursts. He has a couple of sideline catches this season where, again, this, I believe this is senior, um, this is senior film on him. He has a couple of sideline catches that are really good. Um, I, I really like that, that, he is in an offense that is extremely similar to what he's going to run. I mean, look at him burst. Wow. Look at that. I mean, the burst is there. I think on Twitter, too, he retweeted something um, from a performance institute. Let me, let me see if I can pull it up real quick. He retweeted something from a performance institute where basically, yeah, so train built performance on Twitter, speed kills, young man registered or hit a 22.4 mile per hour in a game talk about speed that's what Clemson is looking for that's what they desperately need in the wide receiver core is that speed and now they've they've really they've really kind of shaped up their wide receiver wide receiving class really well 
Noble Johnson, Ronan, Ronan Hannafin, uh, Tink Kelly from Daniel could be wide receiver, cornerback. He kind of balances between the two. And then you got Tyler Brown here uh, with the extra speed. He has the size where he can play outside a little bit. He can play in the, in the slot. It's another guy that's lethal along with Antonio Williams, who will be a little bit older and more experienced, can kind of learn together. Um, you know, And I really think it's a great pickup for the Tigers. Obviously, anybody that's, um, that's got talent that's in state, it's a great pickup anytime they decide to stay home and come play for the Tigers. Um, again, let me know what you think. This is a huge pickup. It's number 23. So they have 23 total commits out of 103 total offers. I, does, I mean, it's from today, so it doesn't look like that 24-7 has really updated their um, stats from today. Uh, I, I Right now their recruiting class ranking is ninth. I don't know if it'll go up or if it'll just stay the same. Um, for now, we will have to wait and see. Uh, still looking for a couple of more players on the 2023 recruiting class. And so uh, still more action to come if you're into recruiting. But again, a great pickup for the Tigers at wide receiver. Really, really love this guy. Tyler Brown, again, Greenville, South Carolina. Hey, that's it for the video. Let me know what you think about Tyler Brown and uh, how you feel about him and how he will fit into the Clemson uh, offense. And uh, if you think, let me know who you think I should take a look at next that maybe is up on the list to potentially commit to the Tigers or that the Clemson is looking at. I love doing these videos. I love seeing the, the new guys that will eventually become Tigers. It's so crazy to think when we go through these types of videos, you know, I've done this four years. We go through these types of videos and as quick as they commit and join the team and enroll, whether they come in summer or or early enroll, is as it's almost like a, a blink of an eye and they're gone. I feel like I'm an old dad saying this, but I mean, you look at the guys like Trenton Simpson, like Tyler Davis. It's like a blink of an eye. We do these videos, we welcome them to the team. They get there three, four years maybe, and then they're gone. And uh, so I, I think this is a guy that Tiger fans, including myself, uh, should look forward to and will enjoy once he gets on the field. Again, a whole-time superstar here coming to play for the Clemson Tigers. Hey, if you like this video, make sure to like this video and subscribe to the YouTube channel so you can stay up to date on all of my exclusive Clemson content I put out every single week. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone.